football players holding up a pair of jerseys have some local parents outraged. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. The video was posted to GCTV's Facebook page. It shows Sequatchie County football players holding the jerseys at their game with Grundy County last Friday. According to Grundy County's athletic director, these numbers are worn by two former Grundy County football players who once were charged with attempted aggravated rape. James Torres is live at Sequatchie County High School tonight. James, you learned some new details tonight, right, James? That's right, Josh and Ken. That game happened here at Sequatchie County High School. And once parents started reaching out to us about that demonstration at the game, we started asking questions, many of which some school leaders are refusing to answer. On Grundy County TV's Facebook page, a stream of the Friday night football game between Sequatchie County High and Grundy County High. Sequatchie County, we'll receive. At the bottom of the screen, players are holding two jerseys. According to Grundy County's athletic director, those jerseys belong to two boys on Sequatchie's football team who used to play for Grundy County and were charged with attempted aggravated rape more than a year ago. A lot of parents are very, very upset. Kara Smith graduated from Sequatchie County High School and is a mother of a newborn. She says a display like this at her alma mater is disappointing. I don't like it at all. I don't think it should have happened. According to Grundy's AD, Leon Woodley, a judge says those players cannot play against Grundy County High in any sport. That's why they weren't at Friday night's game. This led News Channel 9 to ask questions about the case against all five of the boys accused of assaulting a teammate with a metal mop handle. Grundy County Sheriff Clint Shrum says a judge reached a decision in the case, but the judge's orders prevent him from telling us more. We reached out to the court clerk, but a Tennessee court spokesperson would not tell us the outcome of the case case because of the kids juvenile status very uncalled for I guess he says like many parents in the area Smith says she too wants answers most importantly if any adults knew this demonstration was going to happen and we did reach out to Sequatchie County's football coach Mark Wadenberger by phone he told me that he had no comment and hung up Grundy's athletic director, Leon Woodley, says that the principal here at Sequatchie County High School, Tommy Lane, did call him to apologize for that demonstration that happened Friday night. He says that those coaches had no idea that the players were going to do that demonstration. Right now, we're live in Sequatchie County. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James Torres, thank you. Now, we reached out to Sequatchie County's director of schools, Michael Swafford. He could not confirm any information, but said the school system looked into an incident from Friday night. He says no parents have come to him with any complaints.